Illicit has released Notebooks. That's their new set of advanced features that they built into Illicit. And you are going to love this. So Illicit regular users will also have access to Notebooks, but there will be slightly less features and um, less benefits to them, while the Plus subscribers will be able to chat with more papers, you, get, you can use high accuracy mode where you can also access information from tables. Um, you can export information, summarize, create a summary using eight papers instead of four, and um, all kinds of other very cool features. As with all AI tools, I have my disclaimer, and my disclaimer is that you have a brilliant brain. The AI tool is a superpower that you add to this brilliant brain of yours, but don't leave your brain behind. You still need to use it. Well, the benefit of Illicit is that it never hallucinates papers because its answers are grounded in the paper, so it gets the information directly from the papers. And it does tell you when it's using a language model, which says that you need to check accurately. So that's really a benefit of Illicit. Let's play around with it a little bit so that you can see what it can do for you. Now, you can firstly start by adding a notebook title, and we'll make our title um, food all injuries and then you can start by finding your papers or extracting data from existing PDFs that you can upload or create a list of concepts. Let's start by finding um, finding papers. Um, we want to find papers on football injuries in adults. Let's see what it does. And here it summarized the top eight papers for me and it's going to give me a summary of the football injuries. You can see here I was very vague in terms of what I asked for and you can always just make it a bit more and narrow down as you go along. Now here you can see it summarized the top eight papers and it really looked for relevance. You can see that there's a 2015 paper which is fairly recently uh, 2019, another 2019, but here's also a 1981 study. It's giving you a good summary of you know, football injuries, some requiring surgical intervention. And now again, I think this is a very vague entry and I would definitely suggest that you do narrow it down at some stage. But when you start and you start explore a project, a new topic area, you will start broadly and you'll work your way through and find more relevant papers and more um, detailed, zoom in a bit more into a specific topic as you go along. So here you can see you have a number of studies here and you can even load more. Let's delve a little bit deeper. You can ask it to create additional columns for you. These are all the different entries or the columns that you can create. But the best is you also can create your own. Let's say we want to create a column that explores the injury definition. And here you can describe it. Injury definition, how injury was defined. And let's say it should create that column for us. So it already created an abstract summary column. But here we go. And this is a brilliant overview. I know when, when I did many of my previous studies, my research areas in sports injury, and um, even the students that I supervised, you know, you send them back to this masses of literature out there. And here you get the definitions of injury extracted for you. So you can use your brain to really combine this and synthesize a new definition of injury or find the consensus paper or make an argument of all the different ways in which injury was used um, in the literature. So you can create your own column or you can use an existing column. You can also see that maybe uh, you feel that some of these are not relevant and you want to maybe delete some of these papers. So we just discarded it. How brilliant. Then let's see if we can export it. We can export to Zotero Mindelo EndNote, the RIS file. Also a brilliant tool because, um, or a brilliant function because, I mean, it will be very useful if we can get these 
selected papers and you can include them into your reference manager. You can export to CSV or a BIP file which is relevant to Zotero. Super useful. Filter, brilliant. What study type do you want to include? You may want to start want to start off with systematic reviews. I mean, just to get a broad overview. And you can even change the publication year. Very good function. And at the moment, it's by sort by most relevant, but you can also do by most recent, for example. A cool feature of notebooks is that it keeps all this information around football injuries or this topic area under one notebook. So if we want to add a new step, you click here on add a step and then you can go and create a new table from selected papers or summarize abstracts for selected papers or chat with papers. Or you can ask a new question, maybe related to football injuries or extract data from uploaded papers if you have some additional papers that you would like to upload or get a list of concepts. Let's see if we choose a few and we want to create a table from a few specific papers. This sounds like a good one, maybe this one, and let's choose that one. Add a step and let's say we want to create a new table only with these papers and here we go. And now we can again add our columns Let's try something else. And we want to maybe summarize the abstracts just from these three papers. And here we have a lovely summary. So you can choose your most relevant papers and it will create a summary. Remember, um, it, no, don't copy and paste this as is. Always put something in your own words. Otherwise, you are giving the impression that you've created work um, which you have not created. And let's see, chat with papers. Let's ask it a question and let's hear from it. What was the recommendations for future research? Now you can also create a column if you want to in your this table. Here you can chat with it and here it's a each paper what it suggests. Isn't this lovely and amazing? Now that you have your definitions for injury, you looked a bit at the future recommendations for research, let's see if we can extract a list of concepts from these papers. And um, now we are not necessarily working with the papers that we've already got in this notebook, but you can relate your query to the same football injuries or the same topic. But let's say we want to look at the theoretical underpinnings used in football. Which theoretical models have been used in football injury research? And this is often a difficult one to start off with because you Students don't always know, and, and researchers, and even me, if we start researching a new topic, where do we find these theories? There's so many out there, and um, this is a way to find it. Here we go. Look at what it produced. Agent-based modeling, dynamic recursive model, machine learning method, stress-strain model, so this is definitely worth exploring. So you can, within this notebook, even ask follow-up questions. And you keep all your information nicely together. This is lovely. You can see how Illicit's notebooks can make your life so, so much easier. So go and play around with all these features. And all your previous notebooks will be nicely stored here on the side, so you can go back to them and um, enjoy using this. Just have fun. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.